Hi guys, I am so excited for today. We are gonna be planting a couple trees in the butterfly garden, which I'm thinking of changing to like a conifer corner. I'll explain all that in a minute, but look what we're gonna be planting today. Look at this beautiful specimen. Isn't it stunning? I am in love with this tree. I was never a huge fan of weeping trees and over the past few years, I have just fallen in love with them. This is the Blues Blue Spruce from Monrovia. And oh, you guys, look at this thing. I have been wanting one of these for so long and I got my hands on two of them. Mm. You guys, look at the color of this. It is a silvery blue green. It's starting to get some cones and new growth up here. And oh, it is just an absolute beaut. And the thing I love about these trees is that no two trees are exactly the same. They each have their own unique growth pattern. So these are hardy down to a negative 50 degrees or zone two. They grow about six feet tall and wide if left to their natural form, or you can stake the leader, in which case you can get a more upright growth. You can see on this that the leader, this is the leader, and you can see that it is staked. And I'm going to continue staking it because I do want this to kind of grow in a more upright shape. But if you were to let the, if you were to unstake this and just let the leader grow on its own, it would kind of just start to bend and curve and go down and you'd end up with a more mounded shape. Let me show you the picture on the tag. This is what it would do in its more natural shape, which I kind of like it too, but I definitely think I'm gonna keep the leader and just let it grow more narrow and upright. But I am just, I'm so super excited to get this in the ground and it is going right over there. All right, let's get this. Ooh. Okay, let me show you where we're gonna put this. Right there. Probably a few inches back, I am going to be removing the Vanilla Spice Summer Sweet over here and I'm gonna put it in a nursery container because I'm gonna be spraying this and kind of treating the Lesser Salandine and I have a Vanilla Spice Summer Sweet down there and in the event that it does succumb to the spray, I'll have a backup to replace it right over here. But if I step back, doesn't it just balance the whole bed out? We've got the Gold Champion Arborvitae over here, the Golden Emerald Arborvitae, but we didn't really have anything over here. We have a tiny little uh, Euonymus down there, but we needed something over here next to the other Arborvitae, and I think this will provide that blue color. I just think it'll look so good. So let me explain to you guys what I'm thinking of doing in this area as far as revamping it a little bit, and then we'll get these plants in the ground. So we've got the Arborvitae hedge, which runs from the front gate all the way to the back corner over here. And this is four feet wide. So eventually over time, these will grow to just hugging the walkway here and so what i'm thinking as we walk back further it does start to get a little bit wider and i'm thinking i may want to just come in here and start cutting out a bigger bed over here and just take it all the way along here and then as we get closer to what is now the butterfly garden we'll just kind of come in and make a bigger swoop over here and just tie it off right at the end over there so what that'll do is that'll extend the bed out a few more feet. So we'll have quite a bit more planting area up front and then we'll have more conifers and evergreens in the background. And as we get closer and closer to the new edge, we'll fill it in with some more perennials and annuals and a lot of pollinator friendly plants. So we'll have kind of like a conifer corner slash pollinator bed. That's one of my future goals, is to have this whole bed revamped, but we'll take it step by step. But for today, I'm going to remove this Vanilla Spice Summer Suite and put it in a nursery container, and then we're going to plant this in its place. And then over here, I've got a gold thread false cypress that I have sitting in a container over here. I'm just kind of had it here, just kind of eyeing it. And I think I'm going to get this in the ground too, because 
This will get about four feet tall and wide, so it'll fill up this whole area beautifully. Plus, look at the color of this next to that. Here. Let me get it over closer. Isn't that beautiful? I just think they complement each other so well. For today's project, I've got my shovel, a nursery container, my kneeling pad, gloves, and Biotone Starter Fertilizer. All right, guys, let's get them in the ground. Well, I think this is exactly what this space needed. A little bit more balancing out and a little more winter interest. And once everything just starts to fill in, it's just gonna look so good. I am so happy with how this project turned out and it didn't require too much effort. What I did was I dug a hole a little bit bigger than the size of the container. I added some starter fertilizer in there, mixed it in with the native soil. And what that's going to do is that's going to help the root system get really nice and established. So it has the entire growing season to really get rooted in and comfortable in its new space. Then I put the tree in the hole, took a step back and made sure that it was positioned exactly where I wanted it and I did plant it about an inch high so when I backfilled it I made sure to kind of mound the soil all the way around it in kind of a sloping fashion that way all the water would run away from the trunk of the plant instead of towards it. I planted the false cypress the exact same way then I made sure to water them all in and make sure all the soil was settled in and there were no air pockets and they were all snug in their new home. And I think they look so good in their new home. Once they get settled in and start to fill out, they're just gonna fill up this entire area. And I think this whole back area is just gonna look so beautiful and lush. And it's gonna also provide such beautiful winter interest too, because we've got, we've got the silvery blue, the yellow, the deep green, and a greenish gold over here. So, we're definitely upping our winter game. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.